Robocop was a nostalgic film from my childhood. Jose Padilla is one of my favourite directors. Um, I also felt that there was a really great cast being on some being put together. It was a wonderful ensemble. Um, and I sort of felt it was a film that was in the right hands, that if, if Robocop was going to be remade, that this was the right team to remake it. For me, the family element, because that's, that's the part of the story that I ex that I'm a part of, that I explore, because obviously, you know, Robocop is a, is a big action film. It's a, it's a blockbuster film. It's, uh, you know, it's full of guns and action sequences and motorbikes and cool futuristic things and corporations and America and politics. And, and so my role in, the, in, in this film was to sort of play a little bit more of the, the, the pulse, the heartbeat, um, to, to connect Alex Murphy to the roots of what it is as human beings love um, to be a loving, devoted, supporting wife and mother. It's so much fun behind the scenes. Like you would not know. You watch a movie and you know you're thinking, "Gosh." must have been a really tough gig but it was a really easy gig and I had so much fun and we were always laughing. Gary, Gary Oldman is a barrel of laughs and I adore him so much. Um, John Paul Rutan, we would kick balls around in between takes and you know John, J, well, JP, I call him JP, but so JP for me was this little beam of light and he really sort of, for me was the sense the, the, the centerpiece of what I did in every scene. I sort of was on this constant little roller coaster ride of happiness because I, you know, I signed on to a film when there wasn't a shooting script and originally they didn't know how big the role was going to be, but I was in anyway. And then as the film developed, um, you know, and I would fly back and forth, I would fly in and just work and then I'd fly home and sleep in my own bed and hang out with my animals and my family and my friends and go back and work. And it was really fun when I got to set and they were like, oh, we're going to keep you for another day because you've got a scene with Dr. Norton. You mean Gary Oldman? Yeah. And it was just the most exciting thing for me. And, you know, have you got a scene with Michael Keaton now? And I just couldn't believe my luck. I think under the guidance of a director like Jose Pagilia, I think actors excel. And I feel, what I feel with Jose is you not ha only have an incredibly talented, intelligent director who's fearless, but you have a director who casts crew and actors that he believes in and that he trusts. In trusting them, he creates freedom. In creating freedom on set, he creates a great film.